Hey everyone. Of course, the minute I start recording, the other phone starts going off. So, okay. Um, I apologize it's so late getting this to you guys or, or putting it on my webs on my YouTube channel. But um, yeah, uh, I, I'm not even gonna go into it. Anyway, today's short biography is on Evangeline Booth, and it's titled "Onward, Christian Soldiers." And I apologize for the um, poor quality on the, uh, I'm, it's, I'm a work in progress, but, um, so this, 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 the short biography will be downloaded on Michelle Okerson blog and this, the, um, chapter a day reading we're in Acts right now is over on Sweet Home Heaven. Alrighty. Let's find out what, how, and these short biographies are great because it's ordinary people doing extraordinary things for, for God. So anyway, let's, let's find out what Miss Angel, Miss Evangeline Booth did. Onward Christian Soldiers. Evangeline Booth, born in 1865 and died in 1950, was born during the same year that her parents answered God's call to minister to London's poor by starting an organization that became the Salvation Army. Evangeline's father, William, had been raised in a family that, once affluent, had faced bankruptcy during his, child, his childhood. After being apprenticed to a pawnbroker at age 13, he had prepared to become a lay minister by training himself to write and speak. As an adult, he gave up his assignment as a Methodist pastor in order to serve as a full-time evangelist. Evangeline's mother, Catherine, was a sensitive girl who was said to have read through the Bible eight times before she turned 12. William and Catherine tirelessly engaged in ministry even as they courted, married, and raised eight children to share their passion for evangelism. The recipients of their compassion included prostitutes, alcoholics, and the destitute. William Booth conceived his growing ministry as a Christian army, as a Christian army battling the powers of evil for this for the salvation of souls he took the title general and assigned other workers various ranks as officers the group donned military style uniforms and created music that set christian words to pub tunes whether through public preaching helping the needy or sharing the gospel through music salvation army volunteers aimed to lead aimed to lead their world to faith in christ Evangeline Booth was the seventh child in this deeply spiritual family. From an early age, she sang or played instruments while her father preached. At age 15, she was allowed to put on the Salvation Army uniform and began preaching herself. And began preaching herself. She rose quickly through the organizational hierarchy. In her tw 20s, she became a field commissioner of England headed the Army's International Training College and commanded the London branch. Booth was barely 30 years old when she was appointed territorial commander of the Salvation Army in Canada. In 1904, she became head of American organization, and in 1934, she was elected the Army's first female general and international commander-in-chief. Booth led fearlessly when her brother Bollington tried to create a breakaway American group in 1896. Her father sent her to the United States to intervene. Locked out of Army headquarters, she scaled the fire escape and climbed through a rear window. Dissidents, dissidents booed until she wrapped herself in an American flag and challenged them. Hiss that if you dare, Booth said. B quote, hiss that if you dare, end quote. Booth then played her concertina and sang to the stunned crowd. The rebellion was over. The evangelists reunited in their common cause. After arriving in New York, Booth was alarmed by the fact that 70,000 children in the city went to school without breakfast. Within weeks, Booth <clears throat> organized a plan to feed 30,000 people on Christmas Day. She opened soup kitchens and emergency shelters for the hungry and homeless. She established hospitals for unwed mothers, and following the San Francisco earthquake of 1906, she raised enormous sums to find the Army's first disaster relief work. As General, as, as General Booth traveled the world to 
promote serving the poor and winning souls over to Christ. Though she never married, Booth adopted and raised four children. She continued her work until her death at age at the age 84 in Hartsdale, New York. All right, guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, love y'all. Bye.